show. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest coming to the stage is a wonderful stand-up comedian who is currently on a nationwide tour. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ariel Elias. Thank you so much. Look, every comedian has a horror story of a comedy show gone very bad. It's not this. <laughs> this is cool. My horror story is a little unique because it went very viral. Okay, what happened was I was doing a comedy show in New Jersey, which don't. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are from New Jersey, but New Jersey's, it's a weird, all right, it's a weird, all right. <laughs> It's a weird place. It's the only place I've ever been where you can buy a gun, but you can't turn left. <laughs> so I was doing a show there, and at the show, this woman started heckling me. We got into this big back and forth, and then as she and her husband were getting kicked out, uh, her husband <laughs> threw a full can of beer at me. So I picked up the beer and chugged the rest of it. Thank you. And the video of that went very viral. Like, changed my life for the better, viral. Like, I'm doing Colbert, you know? Like, changed my life for the better, viral. And I've been trying to figure out what lesson to take from that whole experience. And so far, all I've come up with is that finally, my alcoholism paid off. Because I have a lot of friends who don't drink anymore who saw that video and said to me, like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I would have done in that situation. And I was like, you would have relapsed. <laughs> this woman, she was heckling me because she figured out from one of my jokes, which you'll hear in a little bit, that I voted for Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. She did not have that reaction. Uh, that's genuinely all that happened, is I told a joke, she figured out I voted for Joe Biden, and then her husband threw a can of beer at me. And look, I don't care who you guys voted for or who you're gonna vote for, but let me just say personally, for me, it genuinely sucks to have taken a beer can for Joe Biden. <laughs> because that's not a cool person to take a beer can for. Right, Beyonce would be a cool person to take a beer can for. But look, I'm gonna vote for him again. I love that he's tired. I do, I think that's a great quality to have in the President of the United States. Every world leader should be 90 and exhausted. <laughs> Just too tired. If they didn't have the energy to put us in danger, it'd be so much better. Because think about it, there's so much stuff that happens that we as civilians never find out about, so it's entirely possible. There was a night where Joe Biden was gonna press the nuclear button. And then it got late. <laughs> And we all get another day. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, whether you agree with Joe Biden or disagree with him, one thing that you have to say for him is that for every decision he makes, he has slept on it. <laughs> I think that's positive. And that's good. When the beer can was thrown at me, I thought it was the woman who was heckling me who threw it because it missed. And then I found out later that it was her husband who threw it. And I think about those two people all the time. I do, I know I shouldn't, but I think about them so much because they're terrible people, right? We can all agree on that, but, but they're a great couple. Wow, I saw true love that night. Because that night I got home and I couldn't sleep, like I had all this adrenaline and I just kept playing it over, over and over in my head, because um, that's what happens with trauma. And I was thinking like, yeah, she started the fight and then her husband finished the fight. And I rolled over in bed and saw my husband and I was like, oh, I don't think he would do that for me. <laughs> like they're terrible people, but I want what they have. Because that's a couple that really finishes each other's sentences. In prison. <laughs> a 
Okay, here's, here's the joke I told that she got mad at. Uh, I have a lot of insecurities. I'm a very insecure person. And I realized that my insecurities had gotten out of hand when I went to get an IUD, which you guys seem cool, but if you don't know what an IUD is, if you're visiting New York, an IUD, <laughs> it's birth control that goes in you and then it gets you through two administrations. <laughs> I think that was the line that tipped her off. And um, when I was getting my IUD, my doctor, as she was putting it in, she stopped halfway through and she said, hey, I know this is gonna be surprising to you, but you actually have a very narrow canal and it's so narrow, we almost couldn't do this procedure. And I was like, stop. <laughs> That's so nice, thank you. And she was like, it's a real medical condition. Thank you so much, I'm Ariel Elias. You can catch Ariel on tour now. And for tour info, check out her website, arielaliascomedy.com. Ariel Elias, everybody. We'll be right back.